Hey everybody, welcome back to Office Hours. How are we today? Ooh, it is Friday. It's what Friday. We welcome back, everybody. Nick, uh, let's start the show off Yo. this way. Were you an in sync person or a Backstreet Boys person? Did you have like a, a dog I, in that fight? I don't know, dude. All right. They all they had some. They both had some good jams back in the day. That's true. That's true. You and know? at this point, all we care about is free Britney. Uh, let's go <laughs> ahead and hop in to today's episode. Um, we're talking about kind of everything that we've talked about in the last uh, few months, um, and looking at a broad, high-level view of Creative Cloud, specifically on mobile. Um, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves, Nick. Who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Nick Longo, based in Los Angeles, branding and graphic designer, uh, instructor at Cal State Northridge, your co-host here on this crazy office hours journey that just keeps getting better and better. And we'll we'll uh, we'll tease that right now, but uh, some good stuff coming up that we could tell you about later on. Who are you? Oh, me. Uh, my <laughs> name is Andrew. Hello, Andrew Hawkrattle. Um, I run Hawk.co and uh, do branding, identity, um, lots of fun stuff here live stream with you on the Adobe Behance channels. Um, and uh, I don't know what I, I collect tiki mugs. That's that's the other thing you need to know about me. Uh, so we're here. And yes, like Nick said, Office Hours has been going for a hot minute. We're coming up on our one year anniversary, actually. You believe that? Yeah. Dude? So special episodes coming for that. But as you know, we've been through this is technically season three of Three, office hours yeah. um nick can you recap what we've done in past seasons and then we'll give you a preview of what's coming yes. in the next season season one was all about portfolio review that's what kind of birthed this whole idea for office hours everybody was home uh many students not being a part of the school culture and in classrooms so we thought of office hours as a great portfolio review then we went into season two and that's when we just lectured we like we both have taught design and we've both taught creative. Why not give you guys some lessons? And we went through just about every, I mean, we did some great stuff. That, we did that everything. Should be, should, can we win an Emmy for that? Oh yeah. 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 We're going to, we're going to submit to the Emmys for uh, the office Come hours on. fall semester. And then after doesn't fall semester. Yeah. Doesn't everything fall into the same category now that we're streaming? Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. We're streaming. basically Netflix, but for design. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then after fall semester, we're here. What are we doing now, Nick? What's the overview? This of was our all show? mobile, mobile activity on the go, realizing you guys, once we can get back out there and enjoy life, your phone and your smartphone and your tablets are just as powerful as your computers are with all of this great Adobe mobile apps. And we've gone through uh, six of them, I believe, correct? This is yes. episode seven. Yes. Great so, stuff, right? Like, I mean, you got to admit, like, didn't you feel like you were even here, you and I, as surprised at what these apps can do? Oh, there were so many times that we were doing something. And as we were working, <laughs> like, my jaw would just drop to the floor because you're like, oh, yeah, Arrow can totally, like, put stuff on your desk and just be totally crazy. And I'm I like, know. sounds good to me. Let's do it. Just the best ever. And I and seeing what you guys got to do and what hopefully we opened your eyes and you're going to be using these. They're not just for on the go. You can use them for what become part of your own projects and yes. you're going to be working on. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we are going to yeah. go there of how you can get involved. We're going to give you a preview of what's coming for Office Hours. So today is our seventh episode of this season. Next week is our season finale. You guys Woo! know what that means. Yes, we'll be doing another big game of not Jeopardy, um, <laughs> of a game that is similar to Jeopardy. Um, but we'll be doing that, giving away some Creative Cloud subscriptions, giving away some really yeah. good swag. But Nick... Where are we going in the next season of Office Hours starting that Ooh. first week in March? What is our new theme? What is the Should new title? Should we drop title? it all right now? Just yeah. drop it all right now. So we we brainstorm with all of our friends at Adobe, and there's this need to help people that are challenged or stuck or have some design hurdle. So we came up with Office Hours to the Rescue. <laughs> this is the, the best thing ever. That's right. And, uh, yes. You're going to see other people on this. We are going to have people come in with video recordings of their design challenge coming to us with something that is stopping them in their tracks something that's stopping the creative flow and what we're both going to do is not only show you like great advice and great um, examples of stuff out there that are doing it great from all other artists but we're going to go right into the weeds and we're going to like open up the app start doing it show how we would both approach it and i think it, it's a good thing to show that there's no one way to do these things so we're going to be problem solvers think of us as like the myth busters the 
oh man this is that's true it's like so it's like mythbusters things. for design yeah and it will be fun because i know nick and i have very different workflows um i'm a big fan of doing things wrong but then eventually getting there uh and so i think it's going to be fun to watch and we've said it a million times on the show there's no wrong answers in design and we're going to be able to take in someone who has a problem that maybe they have an answer and i'll have yeah. a different answer nick will have a different answer you may have a different answer um and so stay tuned we'll talk a little bit more about it next week about how you can submit your questions um and how you yeah. can call us and give us the proverbial bat signal oh uh, to come the to your rescue. Hotline. That's the it. Hotline. Yes. We, we need, need a hotline. hotline. Yes. Okay. Oh, let's get on that. Mods, consider, let's set up a hotline. Consider that done. It's yes. happening. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. Well, with that, we're super excited for what the future holds, but we also have things to talk about today. Um, and Nick, yeah. you talked about it right before we went in about some ways that other people can get involved. What's the best way for people to get involved? Oh, go over to Discord. That's the best way. Get on there. Join the family. I could say we're a family now, I think, right? It's true. That's a family. When I see I, when I see someone post something, I like I feel like I know your design styles now and I know your typography choices. It's, it's kind of cool, right? Very true. Yeah, and seeing the homework that you all have been doing. We've been giving you homework each week um, and it helps us understand you as designers as well as kind of gauge where we're learning, how we're growing. Um, and that's good for us as your uh, teachers and guides or whatever. It's encouraging yeah. to see you're doing stuff and also super cool to see that you're growing and learning along with us. Um, yeah. And yes, so someone just mentioned in chat to jo go and join the um, Discord. So yes, join the Discord server. And there's actually a voice chat channel that's in there. Um, and they're chatting. And we're going to pop in as we have been doing and say hi. Let's try it. Oh, hey, everybody. How you guys doing in here? Good, thank you. Welcome, welcome to, to uh, welcome to Office Hour. Do you want to say hi to the stream? Hi. Hi. All right, there we go. Sorry, I cut you off. All right, so they got a good hi to the stream. Um, if you want to jump in there, we'll try to check in. And there are people talking about the show as we do it. Um, and it's a great place to hang out. Uh, so, yes, Nick. Yo. Nick, Nick, Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick. How, wait, how? These are the best multitasking people. They're in chat, they're watching our show, they're on Discord. Yeah, doing live on Clubhouse, like, making yeah. TikToks. It's true. You guys no, are overachievers. A, a, um, a typical teacher would be like, uh, pay attention. <laughs> yes. And yes, the voice channel is a freak out because it's like a different. You only hear Nick and I talk on this show, um, yeah. which. In the future for um, our new show, Office Hours to the Rescue, you're going to hear all kinds of voices from all kinds of people and hopefully you. So that's a little preview. Um, I okay, Elizabeth said hi, <laughs> but we cut her off. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Nick, let's take a look at like two or three homework pieces just to kind of highlight yeah. what we did last week. And then we can hop into this week's lesson. Yeah, so Capture was the, was the tool that we kind of looked through and the app that we went through and saw everything. We called it the Swiss Army Knife of the Adobe Creative Mobile Suite, right? Yes. Because it really has about six to seven tools there that are all good. I think it's, where does it, let's see, we'll go back to, we've got the first one from, I'm at the very bottom, where are you at? Oh yeah, sorry, I was looking at the one from Girotima. Um, this pattern is gorgeous, even in the background. It's yes. probably some like, tile or something but it looks like it's this like mid-century modern wallpaper um i love that pattern tool because it just i mean it looks so crisp it, it kind of reminds me of something you'd see in Mad Men, doesn't it oh 100 like, with that yeah really good and then good choice of font kind of you know pairings with that as well it looks really really cool yes and this that. is um exactly what we've talked about in the combination of all the things which we love which we'll actually be talking about today is how we can put together all of these different apps you've taken a pattern here from uh, capture looks like you have the texture on there as well and then you probably took this into spark to do the banners and the typography so great job combining the apps we're going to try to do a little more of that today as we do an yeah. overview of kind of where we've been and where we're I'm just going to do the cadence and you guys can make up the words. Um, okay, exactly. so continuing up, let's take a look um, at Struffy. Um, so Struffy did the arrow as well as the capture. Let's do the capture one. Uh, and it looks oh, like yeah. you've done patterns, shapes, and type um, using a sticker on top of your Mac. Very cool. I love that. Look at that. Like, again, like the, I don't know if I would like do that like in Illustrator Raw. It's neat having all these different effects layering them each other and you're getting something kind of like very random, but it works. Yes. And I love, I like, I always want to know what the patterns are 
Because in I my know. brain, I'm like, maybe it's just t- like a grape tomato that's been cut in half, but like it could be like a Ritz yeah. cracker. Like it's great because you don't really think about what it is. It becomes this yeah. something else when you're making those, which is awesome. Um, it, and then let's highlight, right. I want to highlight Kim McChesney up here. Um, yes. Because she'd made some posts uh, for her husband's vintage decor business using shape, color, and pattern functions in Capture. Um, and she has some swatches and it's just gorgeous to see all of this together. Yeah, look at that. I like the way you presented it too, by putting it like kind of angled, layered, got some drop shadows on there, very cool. And then she also just did some stationery using capture and the shape. Um, that's This is just so cool. Yeah, and we really I think we've talked else. about, and again, we're talking about it today, putting things together. Um, this is what we want to see if you're going to post on Behance, if you're posting homework for the end of Adobe Abroad, um, put it in context. We talked about it yeah. a lot in the fall semester. Having something that's a mock-up that takes it from just being on a screen into something that feels physical, it's just a whole yeah. other level. And I love that you did this with this. So fantastic job. Um, Nick, what are we going to do with this homework uh, after this show finishes today? We're building, We so we built an office hours uh, page on Behance, and that's going to be kind of fun. So we're going to be asking you guys, we're going to invite you all in once we get it. I think it's pretty much set up. It's on, but, Yeah, it's um, on the way. I think it will probably launch with the new show-ish. Exactly. I think, um, but we also will be having giveaways as we always do. Um, yeah. Do you know what we have today, Nick? I believe we have, is it a sweatshirt hoodie? I think it's a hoodie and, and um, a, a, hat? A, a hat. Yes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Here's the thing. The, the, Nick and I are just like improv people where we start to say the word and you just like finish like a hood, hoodie. 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 Hat. hat. Um, so yes, I think we do have hoodie hat. We got some swag for you and we will be giving that away in the discord at the end of the show. And yes. what I mean by that is actually after the show. So we'll finish. I'll tell you to go to discord. We'll hop into the voice channel, do some giveaways hang out with you guys for just a little bit um and you can win those by doing the homework or answering our trivia question so pay attention today and we'll it's be getting that, you it's that after party after the after party kind it's of it's true yes you know? and we do have so we have a hoodie and a hat today and then next week i'm just going to tell you because we love prizes we have like a full like tech suite like i think yeah. we've got like maybe a speaker and like uh, some other cool Adobe so swag. Cool so branded tech stuff is what we've been hearing. Yes, is the, is the zone for next week. So come back for that. We're going to have a ton of giveaways next week in classic office hours fashion. Um, all right, enough talking. And by that, I mean, let's do more talking. Uh, let's hop <laughs> over to our lecture and uh, take a look at kind of today we're talking through organization, um, which is yeah. probably not the most interesting topic, but it, we're going to try to make it interesting for you. <laughs> uh, we've worked in a lot of apps and um, I know that Nick has like a crazy file structure. And so we've been throwing files around left and right. Today, we're yeah. going to show you how to pull them together and maybe some strategy um, of what to think as you're doing that. It's hard too, because there's no um, having your structure or the way you build it can be applied to anything. It could pl- be applied to how you do it in Creative Cloud, how you do it on another external drive or something, uh, you name it. So it's kind of important to have that that drive or that kind of like structure that's yours. And then that way, you know where to find it, how to find it. The last thing you want to do is ever have anything that you cannot find. That's yes. truly number one or share. So yes. those two kind of things make it really important to have something to have a good, successful structure platform for what you're doing. Yep. Um, so let's do a quick recap of all the things that we may touch on today yeah. and hop into. We we have a plan for today. It's going to be a big question mark of how many programs we get into, where we go with stuff. We really want you guys to guide us. And if you like yeah. something or you had a question in an app, let oh, us please. know yeah. and we'll show this you how to go through that. Um, but I'll be jumping into Creative Cloud. Nick's going to be showing some of that, but through the lens of all these other programs. Excellent. Nick, do you want to recap all the programs that we've done so oh, far? Oh, wow. Look at this. Adobe Mobile to Glance. With- feels like so long ago I know back in those lightroom days right? right but that was when it all started because everybody started showing us I think we everyone found a picture that was kind of we'd all agree was maybe kind of humdrum didn't have all enough contrast and do anything and some of the ex- examples y'all showed was just so cool and I think it's something amazing to think you're doing it on your phone or your or your tablet this is just incredible so we started there with lightroom we got into spark and that was a really cool spot to kind of see what we can do differently for social media by yes. adding motion and type and maybe 
like, again, we showed you so much stuff that video, it means everything when it comes to social media. And it, it's almost like being able, didn't you or someone say like, it's almost like we're creating our own versions of TikTok stuff and then able to throw it on any platform that we're sharing it. Yep, with, right? exactly. That was cool. Rush was probably the biggest one for me because I hadn't used it a lot. And again, it's, it's that, um, it's that threshold. Like I don't do video editing and it's a whole other art when it comes to it. Right. Yep. But the tools in rush, the way everyone put together these videos was so neat because I love that it had those intuitive things. Like if you add narration, it automatically drops the soundtrack, right? Yep, exactly. That, I, I couldn't figure that out on my own if you tried. Yeah. And it was really cool to see your guys' lives. That's that's why we, like, I love the homework this semester oh specifically. Because uh, yeah. it's cool to see that you're real people and, like, you're out in the snow and the... The, um, the, the fire truck. The fire is truck. The, like, yeah, the, the cat was a great one with Arrow. Yeah, the cat. Yeah, exactly. Um, which, so here's a little story. And we're going to talk about this today. The idea of never deleting anything and keeping yeah. files. The makeup video, the, like, get ready with me video that I made for that lesson... Um, yeah. got an email from that makeup company that was like, Hey, submit a review and we'll give you a free product if you record a video. And I was like, Oh, oh well, look what yeah. I have sitting in my creative cloud folder. Boom. And I got some free stuff out of it. So always See? save your files, organize yeah. them, keep them somewhere. And then who knows? Free stuff may happen. And don't be afraid to, sh to share these things. You, you you might think you're just learning something or it's an exercise, but look what could come, what could come out of it, which is pretty, pretty good. Yep. You know? So then from there, we went to Fresco, wow. Arrow and Capture. Um, and today we're going to put all those together and meet the mothership of them all, uh, which is uh, Adobe Creative Cloud. Uh, so today we're talking about how to stay organized. Um, and yes. Nick, I'm just going to have you talk about this before we show your file structure. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about your ideology of folders when we're working with files or really, really uh, your approach well, to organization in general? I, I, you, you know, thank God it's called folders and it's called files and you got those little icons because i resort back to literally thinking about the physical thing of it and I've, i i'm i'm learning how to get more digital when it comes to this stuff but thank god it's part of our finder it's part of our our operating systems or whatever you're using so i'm doing it out of the complete thing where when it's just you and maybe a small team no one else is going to do it for you. You have to put it all in the right order. Yep. And nine times out of 10, it has come from the fact that you had to find something and it not only was it hard to find, but then there was a linked file and a missing font and all these other things that made it for like the most frustrating thing in the world. Yep. And, and so it's, it makes it makes all the sense now. Yeah, it's so much easier to do this as you go. I currently, I know that my files, I just went back through. So like quarterly, I'll go back through and organize everything. It's easier to do as you go. Sometimes you have to go back and organize after the fact. Um, but a rule that I like to live sure. by that maybe you guys can apply to your workflows is I have a rule that... Um, mixing folders and files is not allowed, right? So if there is a folder, there should oh, not be yes. a folder that has other folders and files in it. Those files should be in folders and you should only get down to, there are only files in here. Um, mixing up, unless you're like packaging a uh, InDesign document or something. Yeah, uh, I see I what you're saying. I try not to mix files with folders in the same category. So I try to put everything in a specific place. So you're saying if you double clicked on a, fo on a folder, inside should only be files, 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 or folders, folders, folders. Exactly, no mixing. yes. Yep, there will yes. be no mix, yep. And there, it's also an eyesore because you see that one floating and then it's alphabetized yes, or however like, you have it you here? suited. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Go to it's your in the home. middle of like seven folders, right? Yes. Um, and yeah. then second thing of how to stay organized, export from mobile. We're going to show you some of that today. You can go straight from mobile into Creative Cloud. I know Nick's actually going to be like trying some of this and trying some new stuff here. I have been using Creative Cloud for storage for a little while. And so it's going to be cool to watch and see how we yeah. can take some of the stuff out of um rush out of capture out of fresco and then upload it to a folder or a file and then we can have on the go that i need to grab Excellent. on my ipad wherever it just exists in the cloud can't wait um, to do that all right uh save everything i already talked about this literally the folder archive is your yes. best friend almost every like client that i have has a folder that is just archive and i just dump crap in there so instead of deleting it i just oh, dump good. it into an archive file and that way um I'm like, cool, I had another company come to me that does honey or like bee work. And I've done a ton of stuff Perfect. with bee people. I don't know why, but I look back and I'm like, oh, here's a file that got rejected. Let's sell it. Like I've yeah. got it sitting somewhere and I don't have to recreate it. It already exists. Do you ever, when you're in that zone too, like another rule would be 
even if you're doing that and it's a quick way and you're gonna maybe go back and and resort it better later down the road never just leave it as untitled right at oh. least give it some name yes uh because when you do a search for untitled you should probably get none but yes unfortunately i'm gonna probably get about a thousand <laughs> yep and I, I i know that i literally have a file that i did for a rebrand project and the name was the name of it was lakeside ideas maybe because i was like I, none of these are like anything to take action on but i know that this document has some ideas yeah. that like maybe could go somewhere and so yep. it's it just sitting i'm like and none of it got used but i'm like cool there are some interesting ideas here at least yeah yeah that's a, that's smart <laughs> all right um and again nick literally just talked about this one segueing into our, our next point there's no like oh yeah real quick like don't put things in temporary places or you know leave it untitled one that you're like oh yeah i just need to use it real quick because then you come back and yeah. you open indesign and it's like 90 links are missing and you're like those yeah. are just gone there let's let's get a poll i'd love to see what chat says and i'm sure you're the same how many of you have one possibly maybe even two or three folders on your desktop called desktop desktop junk <laughs> oh i'm okay chat okay here we go chat we're gonna i'm gonna come back to this screen because i'm about to get real vulnerable with you guys i'm gonna go ahead and let you see the reality of what's happening behind the glory of me covering my desktop with different uh lectures <laughs> and windows um, i love it Let's see it. Yeah, and Nick, keep talking for a second. I'm gonna get this set up oh and try gosh. to shift over. I, well, that's why I have a second monitor. My second monitor is a nightmare. It's usually covered by Slack or Spotify or something, right? So it's out of sight, out of mind. Yes. But I have, I had to go find something from about six years ago today. And it was in a desktop junk, desktop junk two, desktop junk three folder. Thankfully, I found it but it was also in Dropbox, so I did a quick search there. All right, y'all, you ready? Here we go. Here it is. This is the reality of uh, my desktop <laughs> and how bad I am with like, oh yeah, I'll just toss something in there real quick. This is pure insanity. It's a vertical screen, um, but that is what my life actually looks like over there. So as I'm telling you these things, take it with a grain of salt <laughs> that yes, I definitely think that you should do this. Do I actually do it? You know, sometimes not. We all have room to grow. Yeah. All right, um, let's hop in. And oh my God, that is amazing. The, and everyone's looks exactly the same. It's it is true. So funny. It's so oh true. Oh my God. Yes. That is the best. So I we're going to give you advice, but know that we are also working on these things uh, with you as well. Yes. Um, all right, cool. So let's hop back in. Uh, keep talking. Yes, chat. Let us know if. Uh, oh, my God. It's if, just the best ever. Yeah, I think, oh man, I think it just gives you that instant thing to say, here's some Zen because I'm going to put everything in a folder. I'll get I'll get to it one day. You never do. Right. So like on an off day. And I think one of the best things I've been talking to a lot of designers over the last year is when you have some downtime and like, you know, this is the perfect time to reorganize and get yourself ready for the next chapter right like yep. all those things you know that we are efficiencies i work 10 times better when my office and my desktop is 10 times cleaner i'm sure you're the same right? oh same way yep yeah uh, and so lastly deliver with ease we want to have good file structures to be able to mm. deliver to clients That's very it. very easily yep. um so nick let's talk about yeah. your file structure real quick um, and then good. we'll hop into the apps uh, and kind of get a little more hands-on we've talked sure. a lot so let's, let's talk a little bit about file structure and then get hands-on how do you think about files this is kind of like a client name folder is the master, right? So by that client name, the next thing that will be in there are the years. Technically, I, I break them up into years that were, were work, the work, if it was 2021, well, then that's a new folder and I've got them all there. So that'd be my first thing. No files, just folders, right? Then it goes into project name and that's kind of what I've broken down here. One thing I do is I will just do an 01 because technically that keeps me organized as far as numeral kind of order and that project name will be put in there in upper and lower case then i have my folders are broken down legal discovery pitch execution and then deliverables so those are kind of the main buckets and you can see within there it even gets a little more granular so i like to do this with each project to me it gets to a point i have this as one file that's all named just like this i just make an alias or a duplicate or whatever you need to do first and then start punching in all of the stuff that's more specific to that particular one. Then I also know what's next. I, don't, I know what's missing. It really helps me out because like 
The one thing I love that I've added is in the execution now, that O3 there is 3D renderings because yep. everything I do now, I make a, a, an Adobe Dimension file of it as well. Cause that's, I used to be making these crazy Photoshop files that would take me forever and have 40 different layers. And then if there was one little mistake or thing, I'm doing it from scratch all over again. So that has saved my life hundred percent. But like you said, the whole ease thing here for deliverable, that O5 deliverables is now everything that will go when this is done and has to go either to the client yep. or to the vendor or to the printer or something like that. Yep. So it gives me a quick way I could just zip that, that gets off, has a Dropbox link, good to go. That's how I've kind of arranged it. Yep, uh, and I'll actually show you. So I do the same thing and Nick has a similar um, structure here for deliverables. And I'm yeah. gonna hop over into the mobile Creative it. Cloud app and show you, cause we have pretty much the same setup when it comes to deliverables for clients. That's great. Um, and so yes, uh, Creative Cloud is your new best friend. Um, let's hop over onto my phone. Is this going to work? Yes. Uh, so this is my mm -hmm. phone. I'm in the Creative Cloud app. Um, it's a really great resource, uh, both for learning. So there are all kinds of tutorials and stuff in here if you haven't used this before. Um, there are tutorials about how to do things, how to learn things for every program. Um, you also can go into your work. And so if you have files that you're storing in Creative Cloud, I use Creative Cloud for literally all of my storage. So every file is floating in the crowd. I think I have like two terabytes of storage um, and it just exists there perpetually, which is awesome. Um, and so what I do is I can come in here and let's say that this is a rebrand that I did um, for the church. We've looked at this project a bunch of times, um, but I have a folder here for them that is brand assets and you click on it. And again, you have a bunch of folders and you can look at the fonts. You can check out the brand standards. Um, and I always give them a logos package and I export yes. everything as EPSs, PNGs, SVGs. So they have each individual piece. Um, and in there, now I have all of these individual pieces that are sized, that are exported, so that if I wanted to, because it exists in the Creative Cloud already, I can pull these in through Spark, through uh, yes. Rush, wherever I need to. They already exist, and I can just grab them out of the cloud. Um, the other cool thing that I can do, like Nick said, of delivering, is I hate sending actual files to clients. What I'll do is I'll come in here and say, oh, you need your logos? And I'll just click on these three little dots and click on Send Link. And Perfect. it's going to prepare a link for me. And now I have a link to be able to share. Um, and that link will share to a client to wherever. Um, and they'll be able to access those files, download those files, or they can copy it to their work and it will update as I make changes. And um, no attachments, not clogging up your email. That's the yes. best way to send. Yes, that is the absolute best way to send. Mm -hmm. um, Love and so that. This app does have a lot of other features that we're going to show you. Nick, do you want to open it up and show us um, one for looking for uh, maybe a font to use in a project yeah, that you're working on? Let's do it. Let's do Perfect. it. Perfect. Um, so maybe a silly question, is cloud storage infinite or is there a limit? Uh, I think there are different plans. I think that I might have one of the higher plans of two terabytes, gotcha. um, but there are different plans and I think it's like 10 bucks a month. Um, yeah, because you get a certain amount free with your with your subscription. Yes. I think you can elevate to like the pro. Yep, exactly. Yeah, perfect. Good. So here's right. this is great, too. And I'm learning this because I just downloaded the Creative Cloud app on the iPad. And th to me, it, it lives primarily on my desktop 100%. I use it more than anything, particularly fonts. I think that's like yes. where we all kind of live there now. But what's great here is not only can I see the entire store, but I can go here and I can look at everything that I have activated already. So it could show that as as much here. I just haven't loaded it yet on there. That'll probably take a little bit of time. But what we could do here is we can go through and we can actually filter. So even if you're out and about, and you're looking for that perfect font for anything here, we could do it here just as easy as we can on the desktop. So you got everything here. What do we say? Let's go with a, I'm gonna say, let's look for a slab serif. We want something more for headings, which that's, this is great. I oh, love this. The way that that's you can the, filter in there sorry, is so that's helpful. That's the biggest difference. Yeah, this is so cool. And let's say we want a heavy weight. So we're gonna click that as well. You can see there's all different kinds of ones here and I'm just gonna keep that as well. And then let's take a look and see done. So now we have all these great things to see. One of my favorite fonts is this one. I love this one. This is great. And I believe I could just click on here probably. And how can I edit this? Let's see. Can I edit it to my own? 
uh, type? Yes, I think you should be able to change uh, there it is. the preview tape right there, sample text. Um, and somebody asked a question, when sharing Creative Cloud files with clients, do they need to be a part of Creative Cloud to access it? No. Um, that great question. Yeah. So literally I can link to a file and it will just send you actually here, check this out. I'll just show you, um, look at the possibilities we have here. And I did this this morning is the reason that I know that that's uh, a thing is I had to send a file to a client. They weren't on creative cloud and I was able to say, Hey, here is the file that you need. Um, so let me hop back over. Ooh, Nick, that looks good. Well, here's a good, this is a good thing. This is a great, one of my favorite fonts, but I don't think office hours works really nicely in there, does it? Not quite. I like the O and the H don't actually look like they're part of the, oh, maybe that's just a, that's a, oh, it's, is it not a, um, it's no, maybe it's all lowercase. Let's oh, see. possibly. And so, yeah, yeah this is a great way. Go. There you go. Okay. That looks better. Um, so yeah, you're testing it out before you've even like uploaded it and seen whatever. So I, I, I dig this. This is such a great thing to see and look and just understand what's working, what might not. Um, I, and now that I know it's here, I'm a, I'm a little scared of how much time I'm going to be looking at fonts now. Oh, <laughs> it is the ultimate time suck of just like, uh, I'm going to sit here and just look at fonts all the time. So what's great is too great. is not only can I look at this stuff on my phone, I also can come back over here. Um, let's turn on my main display real quick. Um, is I can do this on desktop. So you can go to assets.adobe.com or you can come over here to the Creative Cloud app. Either of those work. Um, they have access. You can just click on your work. Um, but doing it here in the browser, assets.adobe.com, and then going up to, let's say I want to send these room posters to my client, right? I'm going to hit get link. It's going to generate this link for me copy link. Uh, and then I'm actually just going to open an incognito window. So I'm not logged into anything. So this is saying this is the client that doesn't know what's going on and doesn't have creative cloud. When I paste this link, it's going to take me to exactly that file. And then it give me options um, to be able to sync it or download it um, or add it through. So it does nice. go directly to the client. They get to that link. They're able to get it um, and access. And you can say who wants to download, who wants to comment, all that fun stuff. Um, super cloud collaborative, super shareable, and really, really easy. I've been seeing them pushing that a lot too with the, with the whole idea of not only keeping it on the creative cloud, because that's where, you know, let's face it, every app you're using is touching that, but now it could be where the client gets to monitor that, put in the comments, you can respond, you get a notification. You know, that's, that's a fantastic way to do it. And again, you're taking all that kind of what used to live on email is now in here. Yep. And if you guys really want the hottest tea, this link right down here, bit.ly slash Adobe office hours, that's a creative cloud folder. Um, that is just a hot link. I put it into a bit.ly and it's a hot link to a creative cloud folder. Um, Great. I have stored when Nick and I work on presentations, when we make anything for office hours, I just put it into a folder on my desktop or on my phone. It syncs to creative cloud. And when you click on that link, it takes you there and you're able to download, to comment, to look at all of our work. Um, that's literally an Adobe, uh, uh, creative cloud folder. So it is yeah. very versatile. And again, it's great for open sharing when we're doing something like this. Um, it's just a whole nother world. And it's live. It's almost like, it's almost like you're working under the same roof or even on the same computer in some ways, because yes. everything just updates and it's live right when you make it. Uh, the collaboration has been fantastic. It's such a great way to work. Yep. Um, so I'm going to show one more feature and I'm going to cut back to my screen. So yes, it's great for file storage and collaboration. I'm so loud. Please chat. Tell me if I am that loud again. Uh, I just saw the meter and I was like, ew, gross. Um, so let me turn my phone back on here. Um, so a great tool is, uh, the, rep or the remove background tool. So up at the top here, um, there are a bunch of different tools. You can upload things from your camera roll, organize them. You can auto white balance. Um, you can auto tone, straighten crop, all that kind of stuff. But the remove background is a super powerful tool. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to go down to a photo shoot that I did. Um, with some friends. And again, look at all these folders and how organized they are. Uh, and here's a picture of uh, my niece and nephew. And let's go ahead and I just select that photo, which I have edited in Lightroom on my desktop, synced to the Creative Cloud. It is organized in those folders. And so I have this file here in the folders and I'm gonna click on apply and watch what it does. It thinks, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking, and it's removing that background for me. And check this out. That's the removing background song. Um, it's still thinking about it. 
It'll pop up in a second and it'll say, would you like to review your background? And I will say, yes. And there we go. You're, you're almost, you're doing this through the Creative Cloud app and it's probably using an app in the background, but what a great idea. Yes, and look at how well it has cropped them out. Like even her hairs are cropped out. Um, and so I can save this as, so let's say that I want to, um, let's actually do this. So let's save this as. Um, and let's just do name it cut out at the bottom here and I'll save that. So it's saving the edit and now it's saved to my creative cloud. I can see it. It is a cut out, um, image. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut back to you, Nick. Um, yes. and you can maybe either show off, um, some of the fonts or maybe show off some of the files that are already synced to your cloud. Um, yeah. talk about organization and I'm going to open spark and show you how quickly I can get this onto a post in Spark. That's amazing. I'm just seeing Actually, your Nick, your results there. If you want to open up one of the uh, other programs and and uh, show how to export out, maybe hop let's over to that. Spark and show how to export and stuff. Um, and then Perfect. we will hop back over. So let's go to the right, cool. uh, next screen. So we're going to take a video here. So here's where should we could we open it up or we have to go right into it to do the share. Oh, you can uh, you can open it up and export from there. Let's go check it out. All right, perfect. So we're gonna go to our little share button once it's all loaded and everything's good. Here we are. It's loading. So I did like a cool little promo. I've been using uh, Rush like completely all the time now, which is fantastic. It's so, so I hit nice. the share button. So we got this ready to export. So we want to do this on, we've got YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I'm assuming we're going to try doing this on Behance as well. Yeah. Okay. So let's hit a, a export. So basically it's going through there. It's checking out all of the video, putting together it, compressing it, ready to go. And so one of my favorite things, which is just the dumbest thing, is that it shows yeah. you a preview as it's exporting it. Cause there have been so many times that I wait like 20 minutes and then realize like, this was not even the right file that I wanted. Oh, like, yeah. It's almost giving you the clue in case you got the wrong one. Exactly. Yeah. They're like, oh, these <laughs> shots are not right. I love it. It's like, don't close rush or lock your device. Yeah. <laughs> it's being really good there. All so, right. Go for it. Oh, I'm, I'm loading this image in. Um, it is a gigantic image because I realized that I took the background out of a raw file. So it's loading. Yeah. But once once it loads, I'll hop back over. And I actually, um, uh, as Nick is exporting, coming back over here. So this is something that I had done in Fresco during our Fresco episode. Yeah. Um, and this was uh, a sun. And so maybe I want them kind of sitting in the sun. It's super easy for me to, again, grab this, move it around, and they have been cut out so well. Let's go ahead and paste this or place this. And when I zoom in here, look at the detail on her hair and how Amazing. well that's cut out, right? Each Jeez. individual piece, um, all of that removed background with literally just a few taps. And the way that I integrated that and put them in there is, let's go ahead and just undo. Uh, I click on the little picture in the bottom left corner and then go to Creative Cloud. Uh, and again, this is syncing from Creative Cloud. All my files are in there. I can get whatever I want, but it will put the most recently edited file back in front. So I can click on the pics. I click on the cutout right here and it shows me here's the cutout of those kids. Hit open and then it's going to load that image in for me all through Creative Cloud. I didn't have to download anything. I didn't have to put any storage on my phone. It all is just pulling and integrating through the Creative Cloud, um, which Amazing. is magic. So there they are. They are placed in. That's I can move so them around cool. and integrate them into <laughs> my design however I like. Pretty cool. Kind of amazing what you can do without even like an application really being open. <laughs> oh, exactly. Like, like none of this is stored on my phone. I'm not taking up any storage space. It is in the cloud. I don't have to go back and forth in Photoshop, in anything. I can yeah. literally just place it from grabbing a photo oh and cutting God. out the background. This is great. Yes. Or, Perfect. Yes, and, yes. Untitled sequence one busted. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think be that, careful what we have here, right? I know. I'm I think busted. a lot of my files for this are named demo. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Nick, we've got the exports. Everything's here. Yeah, let's give it a shot. So I'm going to hit it on Behance and see how we go. Boom. All right. Um, and there's Perfect. a question from chat. I have a question about that. Uh, whenever I try to pull an image from CC into my iPad, I get an error message. Anyone know why? Uh, my only thought would be if it is a an HEICC file format, um, which I think oh. is like the high end of what Apple takes 
um, from the actual phone. I yes. think that there are some mobile compatibility issues with that file type specifically. Um, so that might be the problem, or it may be in some other, it may be saving as a weird file type that won't convert over, that won't save down. Um, I know if I'm trying to save a video in its original format from the Creative Cloud, it runs into trouble. Um, yes. And so it may be some kind of file um, uh, compatibility issue. All right. So Nick, um, we had the uh, video we exported. Where do we end up with that? Oh yeah, so it went to Behance and basically you can bring it in there, make a new project out of it or anything like that. Um, let's see what else we can do here. I'm gonna go to our files. So, oh, the one thing I wanted to try was um, similar to what you did with the, with the, um, with the, uh, the removing the background. I'm assuming if I take anything here, I can take a, one like that and actually do the auto tone or the straighten or the crop, any of those I, things removing the background? I believe so. What file format is that? That is a PSD, I believe. Oh no, I, that is a dimension. Let's do it. Let's see what happens if we try to do it to a dimension file. Um, gotcha. My brain says, okay, so yes, it oh, will gray out what's out. not compatible. Yeah, um, so it, perfect. Oh yeah, let's try to maybe grab one of those little sketches. Let's see. All right, let's give it a shot. And These so I, I think here's my prediction is that it is yes. going to take away all of the white and leave you with just the line art um, so that you can use that as maybe ah, an overlay. Okay, cool. There we go. So it grabbed some of the different pieces. Um, can we do that, Nick? And can we take that and maybe crop in on one of those, save it and crop in on one of those and then yes. head over to um, Spark Post and use it as an overlay on an image or a background. Oh, great idea. So here we're going to take this one. So now use this one in uh and crop it in spark yep yep and see if we can okay. put it on as like a little sticker on Ooh. an edge or something right i, did, I, I don't have spark on the ipad because i think the, that was uh okay on the phone. nick this is hilarious because i can't do it because i was on the ipad for that episode oh <laughs> we, my gosh we literally we literally That's flipped okay. it i work I on spark. i think everybody gets the point of what we're doing there it's, i mean like it's it, the whole point was really just to show how versatile it doesn't have to be you finding it from somewhere else and taking it it's all there ready to use for whatever app you're you're dropping into yes and here we go i'm gonna I'm, we're gonna try to pull an audible again you guys know that this show is so live and if you have questions <laughs> Please ask questions because that's how we stall when things come up like this. But here's what I'm yeah, going to do. I am on um, the Adobe Spark website um, Ooh, on the desktop. So here's what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do it on desktop. And again, we're literally just showing you that everything goes together in every yeah. single way. So let's see now if I can add in um, a photo. Oh, what, should I add it to the library we share? Oh yes, let's do that. That's oh, there we go. Office hours capture. I'm just I love that. So, um, so I can, uh, if I want to upload the picture of my niece and nephew, I can go to upload photo, um, and then I can go, uh, which my Creative Cloud is syncing to my actual computer, my Creative Cloud files, and so I can simply come in here, find I at pics, and it should have saved. Let's see here. It may not have synced because of the bandwidth that I'm using to stream this specific stream, um, but we will be able to sync through um, with that and then be able to uh, import them sitting there and have that file. Oh, here it is, the cutout. I hit open, go. it's gonna place that in there for us. Again, the most giant file. These are the things I should <laughs> not do while I'm putting out a stream of like intense bandwidth. All right, let's not do with that. It is possible though. I did it on my phone and cut it out and then I'm putting it into Adobe Spark. Um, so it is go, possible, it would have worked. Let's go ahead much, and look. Go to the uh, office hours capture folder and see if you uh, get the PNG I just saved. Yep, so Nick and I um, have a library that we shave, <laughs> that we shave, a library <laughs> that we share. Um, and so we have Adobe Office Hours Capture. It's gonna sync here and think about it. And here we go. Here is the piece that Nick just created. We're gonna add this on. Oh, perfect, right into, I think it'll be a cool little overprint on that uh, cardboard. Yeah. That looks cool. So the sizing got a little bit wonky, but it is improving it for us. There we go. And we can put, uh, let's put a little burger up there. Uh, and so now we have the background removed from Nick's sketch. He put it into his Creative Cloud folder. That Creative Cloud folder nice. syncs to a library. The <laughs> library is shared with me. I am on the desktop version of Adobe Spark and everything flowed together. So the collaboration, like literally the possibilities are endless. 
That is great. I love it, dude. That's fantastic. Look how fast that was too, in a way that like you can just share and imagine if you're so far away and you're still working with someone that like you could do this collaboration that quickly. So much fun. Yeah. That's and awesome. uh, like we said, this is all about like the live collaboration and allowing your workflow to go faster and faster and faster. Um, yeah. And imagine this. That yes, I know you guys caught the the spelling error again. It is the Adobe uh, Office Hours file. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is for collaboration. And again, so there are clients that I will send um, that folder. Right, I will send them the link to the folder of logos, like I showed you, that was all PNGs. And it's so easy for them to access that folder, grab those files, and then plug in those PNGs to something on Spark, right? Um, yeah. So if they had uh, maybe a, uh, let's do this one. So they have here, loading in, there we go. Uh, this is something that we made during the Spark episode. And I've sent them a link to their PNG logo file they download those PNGs and I'm able to, actually I shipped them a library so we can actually really do this. Uh, I shipped them a Creative Cloud library and we go down here and let's say um, that we pull the one for Lakeside, which is right here. Those assets are going to uh, load in. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> they're going to load in there we go uh, and so all of these pngs i can again click and drag and just add this into our file now i've got a nice little badge and not only can i do this i can send that link to the client and they can use all of these pngs from the cloud in their spark posts in their adobe rush in their fresco whatever it is it's just synced to the creative cloud and accessible to everyone that's perfect. I, I love the idea too. You can show something so quick and send it to them that quickly as well by just doing it. And what if you were on the road? That's the perfect thing. You don't have to like pull out the laptop every time, you okay. know? Yes. So the amount of times that I have needed to make a quick change for a client or, oh, can we do this little extra thing? I set up my files to be able to uh, equip them for that. So check this out. This is where it gets really crazy, right? So we talked a lot about logos and logos and stamping them on things. So what I do is I build out my deliverables as well with design pieces, right? So if they're doing the social mm -hmm. media image and a lot of their brand language involves around like uh, topography lines, which is what this client is, I build out in a Creative Cloud library each of these lines as a separate thing. So I can click and they can add these in and create awesome little patterns using these pre-made assets that are literally just PNGs that will continue to uh, kind of take their brand and pull it through in different ways. So you don't yeah. need to just use this for logos or images. If you know that you know, you're gonna have a brand where there's gonna be a lot of stars, make a bunch of stars and put them in a Creative Cloud library and share them with the client. And they'll be able to take those and place them and basically like yeah. stickers or stamps for their brand, which is awesome. Yeah, it's almost like when you're going through the gifts on Instagram to put on your story, they're customized and exactly the ones from your library and particularly the client. And I, I think that's a smart idea too, because look at how much more um, personalized this look starting is starting to get by just adding those elements of the logo in there. Yep. You know? and, and that way I can, when I do brand standards manuals, I can say, here's the kind of photography that you use. And then yes. here are the elements to put on top as overlays, do whatever you want. Um, and that makes yeah. it so that they can innovate, that they have the tools they need for their brand, but then it becomes their brand. They can do yeah. what they want with it. Um, and again, Creative Cloud collaboration, um, it's fast and awesome. And that's what I, we're gonna be doing. I love that. That's what we're gonna be doing a little bit, Nick, actually a lot of it in our next show, um, which we have a couple minutes left. So let's recap what's coming. So today we kind of wrapped up looking at all the Creative Cloud apps. We looked at the Creative Cloud file storage organization. Um, and where are we going next week and beyond, Nick? Well, next week we have to do our our first and only tradition that we have here on the That's, it really is. hours. We want to take the uh, bring the semester to an end by doing our game show. It's going to be nothing but trivia, uh, all about the last seven weeks. So that should be a blast. We're going to have some good, uh, not only the prizes again, but we are going to be giving away a few CC um, Creative Cloud uh, memberships for a year. 
Yep. So that's a, always a good one. And then what are we going to do in two weeks from today? Um, so in two weeks from today, we are launching a whole new show. And if you're just joining us, we talked about it at the very beginning, but it's okay. You're late. That's fine. We'll mark it down. <laughs> Three's an F, but like, we'll give you one. Um, we are doing a new show called Adobe Office Hours to the rescue. Um, and we will be taking in briefs and uh, hurdles and struggles that creatives like you, many at universities um, around the country, maybe around the world, um, or designers in the professional world that have an issue or can't figure something out, will be taking on those challenges and figuring out what is wrong here, how can we help fix it, what was their solution, and then what are our solutions. You'll get to see my, um, my uh, workflow as well as Nick's workflow. And they're going to be very different and we'll probably fight. Uh, we love, we love when we fight. <laughs> oh, we know you guys like it. Back to the good old days, man. <laughs> it's, that's very true, man. We used to fight hardcore on some of these portfolios, um, which yes, portfolio reviews will be coming back um, in the next segment as well. So we'll be looking at your work. We'll be looking at their work. We'll be looking at our work. Everyone's work's getting looked at um, and we will be there on the rescue. Yes. Oh, and what we'd love to know too, like what kind of things are the hurdles that have stopped you guys in your projects? Or Ooh, yeah. is there one thing that you're a little reluctant to even take on or tackle? Call it, maybe it's a huge poster that's gonna go somewhere or something very, very small or whatever it is. Um, tell us now, because we, we're, we're putting together that list of what these challenges are gonna be like. Yes. Um, and we wanna make sure it's, it's really applicable to you guys and what you are dealing with in your design dilemmas. Yes. Ooh, design dilemmas. Design dilemmas. I like that. Yeah. Office hours, se season 18. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here's, here's the thing. And I, like, I'm literally just going to tease it and try to will it into existence. I want office hours, summer camp to happen so bad. So it's going to happen. Just know at some point, summer camp may be coming and we're excited for that. So yes. yeah, uh, let us know what you want to see. And um, we have a couple more things as those come in, Nick, you can kind of read them off, uh, but let's talk about the homework. So the homework this week, is for you to make your own project file and structure and share it. Um, share a screenshot, start using your Creative Cloud library. I think that everyone gets some amount of free storage. Yes. Um, yeah. So you have it, it's there. Uh, set up a project, set up a folder for office hours so you can put all your homework in there and then show us the structure of how you've structured that um, and put that in the Discord right over here. Yeah. Um, and the Discord is the place to be. We'll be hopping over there right after this show to do some giveaways um, and just hang out with you guys for a minute. Um, so make sure you join that. I was gonna um, say too, the folders are really more customized to you and the projects and the jobs you work on. So like, I think you can go and find tons of great resources. You can see the ones that both we, we provided today, but make it your own. Like, I mean, that comes from just knowing what, uh, what, are those pain points in putting projects together that I want to make sure are better the next time. Yep. Um, and if you guys want to, if you've missed out on some of our past talks where we've kind of done recaps about portfolios, about what you should do, um, about what not to do, about not being good enough and dealing with imposter syndrome, um, we're actually going to be giving uh, a talk that we've done on Office Hours with our friends over at AIGA next week, right before this show. So if you want to tune in uh, a little early and hang out, yes, it's a double feature. Um, <laughs> you can check that out over here. Um, AIGA uh, UW is the account that's posting that and so we'll hang out there and then we'll bring all those people over for our grand finale next week as we do giveaways we play um, as someone called it geopardy because we're <laughs> geopardy. talking about geography because we're going to different places this season um so we'll be playing that Perfect. next week lots of questions so brush up on past episodes of office hours um, and good. I'm glad that people like the homework. Uh, Ruth says the homework is actually pretty useful. Um, I love that. Ooh, good question. What are your, what were your favorite things of this course? I'd love to know Ooh, what yes. app stood out the most, yep. what feature maybe are you using and like going, this is great. Like I never knew we had it on our phone. Yes. And love while they hear. do that, Nick, I have a question yeah. for you. So sure. we just talked about the hurdles that like make you nervous or like, mm -hmm. you know, you're trying to fight through. What has been a project or a thing that you like going into it were so freaked out about? And how'd you get over that hurdle? I think anything that has be is a, the size of the project was monumental. Like something, it was more about the, the touch points, the exposure, the size, the, 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 the nervousness of doing it for that, that particular client. Those were the ones that like really get me because then I think it becomes that everything we talked about with like imposter syndrome, you're like, I'm not good enough to be working on this. Yep. That's the biggest 
pain point. But I'd say technically, maybe it's when it gets into some stuff that's maybe uh, a little more illustrative than my what I think my capabilities are, um, and Photoshop as well. Like a lot of times too. Like I I'm an uh, Adobe Illustrator, just you know, tried and true, right? Um, Photoshop is the thing I'm still learning yep. as I need it. Right. Um, but I know people's talents on that go way beyond what mine are. So, uh, if someone came to me and said, can you do this with touch-ups and this and that, and got rid of the background and whatever, I'd probably have to go on creative cloud tutorials. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. I, mine is always you? spelling. I always, any time. Yeah. And here's the thing. My work like is so heavy on typography and I love type, but I hate putting them together to try to make words. <laughs> and so I spell See, things wrong so much. And so I did a, I did a love piece that. for um, Red Bull for Lindsey Vaughn and I spelled her name wrong and I caught it like before it went to print. Ooh, uh, typos, but yeah. it was literally like a newspaper layout with all these words and everything's torn and ripped. And I found like one place where I was like, that word spelled wrong. And this is about oh. to go to print in like a national magazine. And I just Bro. about died. Um, so we'll show you um, in the coming weeks how to turn on auto spell check and illustrator <laughs> and all of the programs just to make sure. Um, I make a whole episode out of it. It's true. Uh, so thanks Golden for hanging Rose out today, mentioned. everybody. Um, oh. If you want to, we are going over right now, um, literally right now, into oh, our Discord. Go. So come join the Discord. Right there is the link. A mod will drop that into chat for us. We'll go hang out over there. We're going to be doing some giveaways. We've got some hats, some hoodies um, to give away for you. So. Go over there, and we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week on our final episode of Adobe Abroad. Oh, But don't be sad, because <laughs> Adobe is to the rescue. All right, bye, We're guys. Coming. See ya.